You may be expecting someone to introduce me, but I'm not like all the other guys. So, let me introduce myself. I'm Narco, top one player in the world for several seasons, and I'm risking my life teaching you how to become a pro player in a matter of days, giving you the most valuable tips and tricks you'll ever find. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. Here we go, the most required video on the channel, how to survive to a defender class. Let's say that you're in an opened field like this, even if you want or not. Before you get blind by the shield's flash, you are gonna have a picture on your mind of the last thing you saw before the flash. In this situation, you have to be fast, and if you have enough space, the best thing to do is to slide left and right until your sight come back to normal. Now, let's test this on a real defender user. At this moment, I could shoot him, but because he didn't cause me any damage until now, I will keep sliding a bit more and wait for him to finish his bullets. Then, he needs to take a break and reload. And here, my comrade, is where you gonna finish him. I don't want to kill him yet, because I need to show you how to survive in a closed space as well. Come with me. Chip terminal is almost ready. Now, because I'm in a closed space, I cannot risk and slide because it may not work as expected. But what I can do in exchange is jump left and right. Same as in an open space, jump left and right until you get back your sight. And by that time, your enemy have to reload his weapon as well. And you already know what you have to do next. If you watch closer, I'm using a tactical flash to blind him as well. If it happens to have a tactical flashlight on your weapon while fighting a Defender class user in a closed space, you can scope in and scope out, just to blind him. But don't shoot your bullets yet until you can spot your target. If you're a Defender class player yourself, just use your shield as soon as you get blind by your opponent. Those two techniques are most efficient and deadly from all of them. And if you use them properly, I guarantee you, the Defender class loves will have some hard day against you. Now, let's watch all of this from the enemy perspective. If you have enjoyed these tips and tricks, I have more for you. Check this video description. Now, let's go and have a look on some gameplays of mine where I'll give you more tips and tricks according to the circumstances. Sunny outside, my thermometer indicates 32 degrees Celsius and the wind speed no more than seven kilometers per hour. It's a perfect day for me. There's no platform. Then, I'll start my journey landing on Kill House. Hope I can find some fresh meat straight away.
sweet. AK-47, vest, and adrenaline. What else could I ask for? little bots. They're getting annoying. I hear steps inside that room. Best option? Get on the roof. I'm up in here, buddy. Hold this one for me. Two of them gone, another two alive. Let's search for them. Okie dokie. I bet this guy got really scared. <laughs> Now, in here, we have a little problem. I don't know if this guy's a trickster player or if they're two players using the same character. Either way, I don't want to risk. Need to get out of danger and rethink my strategy. Confirmed. They're two different players. How do I know that? Simple. They both shooting at me. One with an AK-47 and the other with PDW-57. His shots are pretty decent. The revived flight will arrive in one minute. Ah, it was a girl. She proves that girls can hit hard as well. Don't underestimate them, my comrades. Now that guy is doing a mistake. He had 32 seconds before the revival flight. The thing to do was to search for me and try to eliminate me. And after he eliminate the danger, he could go and help his partner or scan the dog tags. In some cases, it's better to leave your teammate to die while trying to eliminate the danger or wait the danger to go away and then go for his dog tags rather than engaging to a fight that you know you're gonna lose.
yeah, we have a few snipers to the party. I've told you, I'm going to spend some time around the crate. Maybe someone will come for the dog tags. I don't want to stay behind one wall only. Don't want to make it easy for that sniper. There he is. I'm going to try to be as accurate as I can and give him a big amount of damage straight away to make him concerned about his life. And then, while he's healing himself, I'm going to try to approach and execute him. It was one bullet away from death. If you like my accuracy, I'll leave a link on this video description to a playlist of mine with everything you need to be as accurate as I am. Don't miss it. This time is a bit more cloudy. The temperature's still the same, but the speed is now up to 14 kilometers per hour. I have a few minutes to finish this mission and get out of here before starting to rain. By the way, would be nice if Call of Duty developers could add different seasons and climatic events such as rain, snow, cloudy weather or fog. What do you think about that, soldiers? Let me know in the comments below. I can't hit that one from here. I'm looting, but always keep my eyes and turn around to see what's happening in my surroundings. Don't want to be surprised.
There's a full squad in there. Also notice the red-colored car. So far, so good. Just keep that in mind. Two squads at the terminal chip. This will be fire. Really, mate? You made it too easy for me. Hey, can someone give me a ride as well? I swear I'll hold my fire. I guess I have to manage myself getting into the zone. Remember this car? They left it behind. Also, notice this crate. It must be probably someone they've killed on their way. And because of that, I suppose they headed that way. As in there, where I'm going to. The safe zone is collapsing. The revived flight will arrive in one minute. Those ones seem to be from a different squad. Tank has been delivered. Tank has been delivered. Always when surprised from behind, slide and jump while localizing your enemy. I'm not a sniper player, but the zone is closing into an open field, and if so, it's always recommended to have a sniper. If I find an FHJ on those crates, I must probably use that, but if not, sniper is my best option. The thing is that when I'm using a silencer, no one knows where I'm shooting from, and I'm kind of safe from another player's. On the other hand, if I were shooting with a long barrel, given the fact that we are into a small zone, everyone would be aware of my position, and I don't want that to happen. Airdrop has been delivered. The last revived flight will arrive in one minute. Even though someone had already checked the airdrop, check it as well. Most of the times, the vest they left behind is better than yours. And sometimes you can even find a brand new vest, plus another accessories for your weapon.
That one is jumping like a cricket. Better I leave that one for now and take care of the closer one. At the end, the sniper was useful for something. The safe zone is collapsing. You know what? I have two more enemies left. If the last one alive will be the one that has a pistol, I'll kill him with my knife, just to make it fair. Soldiers, my mission ends here. After all this speech, I would appreciate if you buy me a drink. I was Narco, number one in the world for several seasons. Let me know if you have enjoyed my tips and tricks to bring you more. Cheers, mate. <laughs>